Okay. Okay. Blue Jays. Blue Jays. Let's play ball. Lindsay doing her best hype there. Now, <laughs> the boys of summer are back. Richard Southern, you're feeling pretty optimistic. Yeah, no, you, you just told me. You even just told me. You said, I'm Richard, I'm not getting emotionally attached to this team. No, more attached to my beer. <laughs> Your five dollar beer. We're going to talk about that. Yeah, there. for sure, for sure. Now, aside uh, aside from beer, baseball is also about the numbers, yep. about the stats, and you've been crunching some of the numbers. And these numbers are going to make us feel old, Adrian. Okay, for the Maybe first that. time this season, there are no players on opening day rosters who played in the 1990s. Yikes! What's more, we're about to see the first player. Born in the 2000s, and he's on the Blue Jays, Adrian. Elvis is in the building. Elvis Elvis is in the building. He hasn't left. This is him, Elvis Luciano. He just turned 19. He was born on February 15, 2000, when Adrian and I were still nursing our Y2K hangovers. <laughs> now, the Jays got Elvis, uh, Adrian, from the Royals in a little-known baseball clause called the Rule 5 draft. Essentially, it lets you steal a player from another team. The only deal is the Jays have to keep him on the big club all year or send him back from whence he came. He was actually warming up a few minutes ago. He might get into that. Supposedly he throws heat, like 97. 97. So, but he's only played in rookie league. So he's going from right in the, from the bottom to the top. So we're just going to, he's going to be doing a lot of uh, water boy duty this year, I <laughs> he's think. He's probably pretty <laughs> nervous right now, Elvis. <laughs> and when, uh, when it comes to the Vegas odd makers, they might not be betting heavily on the Blue Jays, but they are on one Jays prospect. Here's one thing to feel good about, that you can get emotionally involved in, Adrian. Uh, according to the experts in Vegas, the Jays' Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is the odds-on favorite to win the American League Rookie of the Year. This is a big award. Now, Guerrero, for those who don't know, hasn't yet played a single game for the Jays. Uh, he's starting the season on the injured list, but he's expected to make his debut soon, and he's the top prospect in baseball, Adrian. His father was a big star in baseball, and he is the future when it comes to the Jays, and we're going to see him soon, hopefully. Richard Stoke. But now, uh, who's going to win uh, overall? Uh, we have the odds from Vegas. The New York Yankees, their favorite to win the World Series, 5-1. to one. Houston Astros, 6-1. to one. Red Sox, 7-1. to one. The Dodgers, 7-1. to one. The Jays, 300-1 to one shots wow. to win it. So they're wow. very much an outside bet. But I'm going to take a flyer at 300-1, to one, Adrian. Just put a few bucks down. I think I might because, you know, Stroman does well. The pitchers do well. You never know. You never know. It would take a miracle to get the last wild card. But again, you're, you're, you're looking Look, glass half full guy with right. that. I'm just glad right. baseball's back, Adrian. Now, forget about the peanuts and cracker jacks. Uh, you've been doing some digging, and there's some pretty extreme eats in ballparks across the Midwest. I love this. I'll never tire of this stuff. Okay, so first of all, this is the foul pole. If you're down in uh, Texas oh, for the Rangers wow. game, this is a two pound breaded chicken tender. Comes on waffle fries in its own carrying case. How about the Polish, Polish platter from the Chicago White Sox. A half pound of kobasa, uh, your choice of loaded baked potato or onion rings. There's sauerkraut, caramelized onions, oh, mustard sauce, you That's name it. Love this next one. Boozy popsicles if you're in Oakland. This is good. Alcohol filled treat. I don't I, think I they can, can even, this. they couldn't sell these legally here, I don't think, Adrian. <laughs> Here's something you can buy in the Rogers Center this year funnel cake poutine. Oh, wow. How, how Canadian. Right? How Canadian. Deep fried funnel cake, ice cream, chocolate, caramel, and marshmallow. And we were talking about the Jays. They're trying to bring more people in this year. Yeah. So there is one stand on each level that has cheap eats. Uh, $3 hot dogs, $2 bags of chips, and yes, $5 beer. But it's only your standard beer can size. It's not a tall boy. But still, okay, okay. $5 beer, not too bad. Well, and you know, when I, I, honestly, when Vladdy does come up, when Bo Bichette comes up, there's going to be a lot to go down there and enjoy, even if the teams aren't at the top of the standings. You're watching some of the best young guys. I'll see you at the ballpark. Yes, and we'll just, go and have a $5 just beer. Just bring the Lipitor if we're going to be doing some of that food. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Thanks, Richard. See you, Adrian.